What's up everyone? My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and we're having lots of fun right now because finally Wizards was like, you know what? You know what everyone loves? Historic Brawl. We're going to finally give them a chance to play it again. Come on Wizards, just please make this uh, a thing that we can do. Like, Make it a ranked thing. Like, why not? Like, You were trying to push Brawl so hard before. I know Historic Brawl isn't necessarily Brawl, but come on just just give it to us this is this is so fun and so we need to have some fun today because I, I was just having a little bit of not as much fun in constructed uh i i went on a run where i went like uh and i playing my my some of my best decks and i just like won three games out of 35 or whatever like just i was almost into diamond tier then i'm all the way back down to platinum tier four uh just no reason whatsoever other than I just was hitting the wrong man at the wrong time, all kind of stuff. And so it's time to jump out of Constructed for a moment, play something that's a little more fun, get a little healing in our hearts from this. And so Rashmi uh, Eternity's Crafter, I've been wanting to build this in Constructed as well and just haven't been able to make it work quite right. But in Brawl, this is one of the best commanders of all time. It is so good. Four mana, two, three. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, reveal the top card of your library. You may cast it without paying its mana cost. If it's spell with lesser cover mana costs, if you don't cast it then put a chance so regardless so what we want to do is we want to be able to cast stuff on our turn and their turn so we have you know cheap spells excuse me for early game ramp everything like that ops to be able to cast on our turn and that's basically our deck is just a full of stuff where we can cast it on our turn or cast it on their turn uh and just a bunch of really good things where we want to make them you know big for mana costs everything like that and so like ugin six mana all of a sudden we can cast basically anything else in our deck because everything is six mana and below or if we cast something else we might be able to draw into our other big cards as well uh and then we do the same thing on their turn and so the main thing is just a ton of ramp to be able to play our stuff on our turn and their turn get card advantage with rashmi and then we're just playing simic amazing stuff you know uh Sublime Epiphany, Torrential Gear Hulk, which I've had happen more times than I've count with this deck. Uh, I played. This is one of the decks I played up against uh, chat as well, so I, we did play this quite a bit then. But this is just one of the best decks of all time, so I'm really excited to jump into it again. We will dive into it right now and see how it does for us. Here we go. Uh, we have some ramp. Hopefully hit a land. We have Incubation to dig for Creature. Also, that's here mostly as a removal spell. Can uh, Torrential Gear Hulk grab the incongruity side of this? Because it has to be an instant, right? To be able to play it. Land. That's not a land. Watch this find like five lands off the top and then not the thing. Uh, there's three. Uh, Gilded Goose is ramp for us, so yeah, grab the Gilded Goose, and that lets us do some pretty cool stuff with Nightback Ambusher. Oh no, this isn't Wicked Wolf, but still, Ambusher's nice. Pass the turn. Uh, Teferi might be the best thing to help us find lands here. Cloud can see her. There's a the land. All right. In that case, we play out Rashmi get it out pass the turn so uh, the way that rashmi reads is it's the first spell on each turn and so that's why we have a lot of flash things as well as everything just to get the value so we do care about nightback amateur but even if we play it out we might still use other stuff uh, no blocks. We'll take it down to 23. That's cool. Land is nice. Um, flash in Night Pack Ambusher on their turn. We'll go for Teferi. Try to dig for more stuff. What does Tamiel get us? We, Tam was a little bit awkward in a singleton deck <laughs> uh let's go let's go ahead and play grazer this turn and then we're gonna hold up nine pack ambusher and glimmer get a land to hand and we can actually play it out how about that uh which sure swing with thrash me what are we up against thassa pass the turn It's a spell with lesser commander costs. Baron. 
All right, what are they targeting? Probably Rashmi. Okay, in that case, we'll throw out Nightpack Ambusher. Ooh, and Disallow. Yeah. Uh, your ability. That was sweet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then maybe play Tamio just to bring it back. How much mana do we have? Oh, that's good. Fibble Fip. Still digging for that land. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and block. Uh, yeah, we do need to cast something here. Uh, let's go ahead and play out Gem Razor. That gives us three mana. Oh no no, because we have we have two there, so. Um yeah, put it here. The main reason for this is that we kill the heraldic banner, we can swing in with both these guys, uh put it over. And then we can still play Glimmer of Genius on their turn. And pass turn. Plays out Thassa. Do we want to try for Glimmer of Genius now? I guess yeah. Might as well. Try to see if we can find a counter spell. Okay, Cultivate. All the free spells are so good. Uh, yeah, I think we're okay with both of those. Maybe not Omen in the Sea. Actually, we have so much card advantage at the moment anyway. So let's just go for the Uro. Paradise Shoot, okay. Yeah, no blocks. They bounce it back. Actually, they might bounce the Baron here. Baron is pretty good against us. Does not do that, okay. Target of a spell. All right, so we can still hit for a lot of damage here. Let's play out the island that they see. Um, nothing at instant speed right now. That's fine. Oh, comes in with zero loyalty. Dang, I did not mean to play that out. That's right. I can just decline and not shot. Oops. <laughs> uh, we could try phasing out the Thassa. That's fine. That was definitely a misplay. Tammy will bring it back to hand. <laughs> what do we want to bring back to hand, actually? We could bring back Disallow. Um, let's draw a card. Don't worry. I'll think of something. Discard a forest. Play Uro. Yeah, play Uro. Uh, bring it in tapped. And we'll just pass the turn. So we can, um, what we can do with Teferi is we can uh, phase out the Baron, which stops Thassa from being able to attack in. Um, as long as they go to combat first. So yeah, here we go. So we actually, yeah, we phase out Baron. This also means they can't blink the Baron, so they can draw more cards, and that's fine. Let's just go for Gross Barrel now. Land a hand. Creates a 3-2. Thoss is Oracle.
We do need to find a way to actually answer all this stuff. I think I have one Rivers Rebuke in the deck. Uh, and that's what we're digging for, I think. Blings, yeah, get some more, more tokens. Okay, pass my turn. Carnage Tyrant is a big boy. A big boy indeed. Uh, let's... I mean, let's just play just about anything in our deck, right? So we do that first. And a Questing Beast. Uro. Incongruity actually might be pretty nice for us at some point. Uh, let's hit... Uh, if we're going to do... Car uh, we have a Torrential Gear Hulk in the deck at some point as well. Not that one. We want a Grazer. There we go. Things that we might want to get back with Tamio. All that stuff. And Anissio Shakes the World. Uh, draw a card. Time to improvise. Uh, I guess we also play out Paradise Druid. Creating more food tokens could be nice. Uh, Thassa just kills here. Um, no attacks. Blast Zone. Yeah, so uh, Torrential Gear Hulk, Sublime Epiphany. Those are the cards that we want to find now. And we need to not mill ourselves out at some point, too. <laughs> uh, draw. Ideas like yeah, I dropped the Arcane Signet. That's fine. Um, Paradise Druid. Chomp. If we can get to the ultimate with Nyssa, we're in pretty good shape. We do have answers right now for all the flyers. Chemistry's insight. All right, well. Nyssa. Get the trigger. Dude, this deck is insane. Oh, come on. We got to hit something good for this to work. Neutralize. Uh, okay, let's draw. Time to improvise. Sensor doesn't quite work. Cycle the sensor. I don't know if how many more counter spells we actually have. That's fine. All right, so it goes away. We play out Tamio and just bring it back. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. Uh, do I want discard fodder for this, or do I just want to be able to play more things? Sure. Okay, I'm green. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and create some trades here. Swing in with Uro, swing in with Carnage Tyrant. Double blocks there. I'm fine with Uro dying. We can bring it back pretty easily. Ronus. Ronus is actually really good with Questing Beast. Ooh, yeah. With how much mana we have, that's huge. That actually might just win us the game.
Uh, do we want it this turn or not? That's an indestructible death toucher, right? So, yeah, I played it out. Really good blocker for us. Oh, yeah, that's that's awesome. Now everything can have trample. Cavalier of Gales. Okay. It's when, it's when it dies, not just when it leaves the battlefield. Although phase out doesn't even count as leaving the battlefield. Uh, do I want to phase out the Thassa? It stops him from blinking something. Yeah, and, and it's also just it, it's phased out for our turn as well, so it's not a blocker. So we phase out the Thassa. I guess we had the indestructible blocker anyway, but that's fine. And Sublime Epiphany. All right, well. Green. Nissa. Dude, what is with the sound effect that is suddenly happening? <laughs> Oh, yeah, we have a ton of mana now. So... Give Questing Beast ramp or some trampleness. Untap a forest. Give Night Pack Ambusher some trampleness. Um, untap a forest. I still want to be able to play Sublime Epiphany as well. Um, so we need uh, one, two, three, four, five. I guess we can just go for Camera's inside as well. So I can actually create a copy of our gem razor, which will have Rashmi's ability. So let's go ahead and go to combat. Swing, 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 swing. This is on another target creature, right? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and draw right now. I just want to see if there's anything else I want besides this. All right, that's actually, that's really good. Now let's just have another counter spell available. The blocks Carnage Tyrant. All right, so we can make, how big can we make Questing Beast? Okay, not putting a lot of damage in front of the burrow. Oh, that's all they're doing? Oh gosh, yeah, we win. Uh, so... Activate there. Should've swung it with the forest as well, actually. Reason borrower. Um... Oh, I didn't hold up my blue source. Dang it. Why is auto tap so dumb? I could have frilled mystic this. All right, so this and this are both getting through, right? So that's 12. Just kidding, it's lethal. Yeah, there we go. So we had it before we even pumped there. 
because the Carnage Tyrant still got through with more damage. There we go. Dude, that sound effect was getting annoying, though. <laughs> Cut that's over. <laughs> and we are Jamin. Bring it on, Jamin. Uh, we'll keep this. Ooh, man. All the tap lands are a little bit frustrating. We're, we're going to get out the Gilded Goose first. An untapped land here is so bonkers. That'd be nice. Risen Reef and the Cura. We honestly don't have uh, a ton of things to do with... Let's see here. What do we want to do? Risen Reef... We're gonna we're gonna go Kiara. More ramp here. We don't guarantee get the ramp with Risen Reef. And this also lets us opt as well. So pass the turn, try to find another untap source. Play Rashmi next turn. That would be pretty sweet. And then we just start getting card draw, holding up Field Mystic to get get to play able to play other stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Orzov Enforcer. Death Toucher. Untap land. Yes, we keep. Uh, removal for Rashmi would definitely be not as much fun. Uh, we can play all these other good things, but I want to play Rashmi. We came to play Rashmi. We're doing it. No attacks past the turn. Uro draws us cards and gives us more lands out there. We're definitely doing that too. Just hopefully with Rashmi. <laughs> uh, Peng Blue, thanks so much for the for the prime sub. Blau, my bad. Smites Silver Smote Ghoul. Uh, no blocks. Take it. <laughs> Making me crabby. Uh, let's see what lands we actually hit here with Uro. So, could hold up Frilled Mystic, which could be pretty nice. Uh, we'd have to play this out and tap it and then do it. But I, I want the card draw, so go Uro. Wolf Willow Haven, yes, onto whatever land we decide to untap. Let's go, let's go onto the island. Uh land out onto the battlefield. Untap here. We haven't played Netherland yet. I guess botanical sanctum right doesn't doesn't really matter now we're just going for ramp play out the risen reef uh new attacks we are willing to block with this risen reef that's the thing they don't know we have like zero other elementals uh there's like some ways to block to bounce it sublime epiphany can copy it that the kind of stuff but basically it's just there as a good three drop thing that we can do Uh, that's fine. As long as you're not swinging with the Silver Smoke Ghoul. Down to two. Alright, so. How can we play multiple things on this turn? We can just go for the Incubation. Carnage Tyrant is, is really good. They do have something. I, I think what I want to do, though, is counter the Teso when they try to play it this next turn, though. Uh, so what we do is we go Incubation. Just draw a card here. Draw two cards, one with Rashmi, one with whatever this is. Okay, land a hand. Oh, we actually got... We could have hit something there, but okay. Um, play out Llanowar. Another decent blocker. Don't need to untap anything. We'll pass the turn. Maybe he's swinging with, with Risen Reef. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's fine. Risen Reef down. We have ways to bring it back as well, so that's okay. Pass the turn. We got rid of a threat. Orzhov Enforcer, a little bit annoying. We will counter the first Tesa and get a free spell. 
And opponent scoops it up. There we go. <laughs> yeah, dude, this deck is just so busted. It is, it is beautiful. <laughs> All right, up against Lord Zogar. Uh, not having the untapped green source makes his hand a little bit funky, but lots of ramps, so we keep. There we go. Oh, that's beautiful. That is the best draw possible. Get out the island, pass the turn. Next turn, uh, I think we actually go Cultivate over Risen Reef because it's more guaranteed ramp for us, and I think we do want to ramp more. Oh, there's another land. So we have Rashmi, Cultivate can be... Like if we had other elementals, I'd be going for that over this, but as it is, this is fine. The island out. Pass the turn, no attacks. Uh, getting another one drop to play with Rashmi. Well, I guess an opt would be our, like our best draw here. Heliod. Torrential Gear Hulk. Not bad. No attacks, pass the turn. Got the commander out. Soren. As long as it's your turn, creatures you're playing uh, and playing with you control have lifelink. So lifelink with Heliod, yeah, that's, that's bad for us. <laughs> Probably just plays it out. Indulgent partition. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can just flash in a torrential gear hulk. You can play a big I, I'm not sure how this works. It's convert a mana cost. Um I'm not sure how X spells work with this. It's a little bit funky. That's all I know. So we go, could go for a big Hydrocrasis. We don't have anything for Trench Gear Hulk to even hit. It's a blocker for this guy. So yeah, let's do that. Let's go X4. And we'll see how this works. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't show me like what the cost is. Because some, some things count the Chromatic Cost as what it is as it's being cast. Other things don't. No attacks. Don't want to get, let them gain life. We need to deal with this Heliod at some point. Which I'm not even sure how we do that. Phyrexian Scriptures. Uh, disallow would be really nice now. Yeah, it swings in. Gets an extra counter onto this. Sublime Epiphany with a Torrential Gear Hulk afterwards. So actually, it's better to play out Torrential Gear Hulk first, I believe. Destroy all non-artifact creatures. Uh, swing in, swing in. Down 21. Pass the turn. It would be nice to counter a spell, but this is fine. We have we have turn trigger hulk to do that later. So activated ability, return land on permanent. Copy creature you control. Um target player draws a card. Alright, so. Non-land permanent. It might be the Indulgent Partition over the Heliod. Just because of how many counters it has. Target creature we control. Let's copy Grazer. We draw a card. Free land or else. Why not? Creates a copy. Sweet. Gain some life. Why not? <laughs> all right, and then this, uh, it does exile all graveyards, so we were on a Torrential Gear Hulk before that happens, which we won't be able to get counter spells out of this, but it's still not bad. Crested Sunmare. Ugin. Ugin is good. <laughs> Ugin's very, very good. How much do we care about making sure we hit the Sublime Epiphany? I guess quite a bit. We can Ugin on the next turn. Um, how much mana do we have? Nine, ten. 
So we can play Risen Reef. Hold up Trencher Gear Hulk. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good play. And a free omen of the sea. We'll take that. Uh keep a land on top. Actually, um Do we care about the Arcane Signet? We can play it out. Uh, you know what? Actually, no. We could get the land with the Risen Reef, but I think I'd rather just have better stuff drawn here. Yeah, okay. That's better. Alright, swing in with Krasis. Uh, stop. I guess, yeah, well... As they go to Exile, we'll go ahead and put throughout Tarantial Gear Hulk. Land goes to hand. We just wanted the Sublime Epiphany. And we get it. Alright, so... Uh, what all do we have here? Okay, so... Activated ability actually doesn't really matter here. Um, uh, sure, why not? We have it. Uh, return null and land permanent. Token. Draw a card. All right, so yes, this one bounce crested sunmare. We can kill it with a Ugin. This bounce crested sunmare, though creature we control risen reef or trencher gear Hulk. I don't think we have anything else in the graveyard, so risen reef. We draw a card, and so Light Epiphany is going to be exiled now, so we don't have anything for gear Hulk to hit. So this just gives us extra value in general. Raisin Bar was actually pretty nice. It's really nice. Tamio, so many flipping cards. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, they just get to replay their cards somewhere, but that's fine. Yeah, we will kill you. You get a 5-5 five, five indestructible horsey. This gets bigger. We get to Ugin and kill it. Bounce the token with Brazen Borrower. Life is pretty great. About Ugin. Uh, can we press the incongruity side of it? So we don't have to now. All right, there we go. I mean, that's one way to take care of a Heliod, but that's fine. I guess now we just start ticking up here. That's that's okay. <laughs> um, we want to be able to play something else out. Let's we do. We also have a ton of cards in hand. I don't want to have to discard everything. Um, next swing in with Krasis. Down to 14. So creatures on their turn will have lifelink. Pass the turn. Discard Thriving Idol. <laughs> so they can hit they can hit the Ugin with the Sorin. Opponent scoops it up. Yeah, I was going to say, like that. I don't know how you get out of that. That's just insane. <laughs> Dude, Rashmi, Rashmi is so good. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right, up against Ui Zusui. We'll keep this. Good ramp. I like it. Breeding pool tapped. Pass the turn. Temple. Command Tower, Paradise Druid. We get a turn three Rashmi again. I like it. Cura into Questing Beast for some card draw. We might get it out a little bit earlier, but I'm guessing this deck's going to have a lot of removal. Uh, and if Rashmi dies, we can always replay it, so it's not as big of a deal. Like, I'm fine with them trading off a card for our Rashmi. Yeah, it's way better if it stays alive, but... All right, cool. 
Chromatic Lantern. And now we're in the game. All right, so what do we have for untapped spells? We have not found a land yet. Rash can help us find that. And if I play Cura, we find a land that I can hold up Disallow. I can still hold up Brazen Borrower. Yeah, so let's do this. Cura. Spy Epiphany to hand. Not to brag, but we, we are just really needing um, spells to play. In fact, we might go ahead and just bounce the Chromatic Lantern on their upkeep just to... Because that might be better than letting them actually resolve anything. So let's go ahead and do that. Brazen Borrower onto the Chromatic Lantern. Digging for lands here. Land is good. Land or else, ramp spells aren't bad either. Okay, yeah, land is good. Land is good. Uh, we can actually play Sublime Epiphany only on our turn though right now. You're bringing Rogue Pile or Rogue Pie? <laughs> Thought Erasure. Yeah, we have a million good things, but Slime Piffany goes away. That makes sense. Yeah, they see the rest of our hand. Uh, nah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is how it should be. <laughs> Up against Stormbringer. Uh, ugh. we're on the draw. We can find lands to get to Risen Reef, and that's okay. Uh, Dire Hunt's going to be pretty quick. We get a free mulligan, so might as well. Uh, Arcane Signet. Oh, I don't want to get rid of our free mulligan. Like one land, and this becomes an amazing hand. And it, we are on the draw, so we're gonna we're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Everything's fine. <laughs> there we go, guys. See, we found it. Life's good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Whew. Ooh, and they didn't find anything there. All right, so Arcane Signet's good, but we need no another land in hand. So let's go for Cultivate. Island, Island. No attacks. And now we have Rashmi. I wish this was instant speed, the incubation side of things, because then we could cast it with Rashmi. Uh, you know what, though? We can play Arcane Signet into Rashmi. So we do that. Rashmi, please don't die. No attacks. Uh, they have a lot of fight spells, I'm guessing. Oh, they cast nothing? <gasps> what? All right, well, so we want Chemister's Insight. Incongruity is also not bad. Uh, we, we are going to use the incubation, though, just to draw something here. Into the royal. Yeah, no, we keep that. Put that to hand. Uh, grab Night Pack Ambusher. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. We have a lot of instant speed stuff, so might as well. Swing in with Rashmi. Pass the turn. I mean, we can actually use Nightback Ambusher to its full ability here pretty swell-like. Wicked Wolf. Um, How much mana do we have? We have... Okay, yeah, we have enough to bounce and play it, so... So we want to go Nightback Ambusher first. Oh, okay, it's not quite big enough. Or yeah, it has to be lesser cover mana cost. Brazen Borrower, Bounce the Wicked Wolf. Slows it down for a turn. We can make it bigger with the Gem Razor and just cast it this turn. We don't get the, the Wolf, but that's fine. Yeah, I think that's the best play. So uh, Gem Razor onto Rashmi. Land a hand. Put it over. Does not die to Wicked Wolf now. Shwing, shwing. Down to 15. Pass the turn. You can always into the Royal as well. Gargross. So whenever, uh, whenever a creature you control becomes a target of a spell... It fights up to one target creature you don't control. So this will happen in response to us targeting it to bounce it. 
So... That's actually a little bit annoying. Um, Alright, chemistry is in sight. Draw... Incubation's pretty nice. Maybe we'll just go Tamiyo Incubation. Deal with it. Deal with it. Um... Because, like, Rashmi dying isn't the absolute worst thing that can happen. So whenever a creature you control becomes target of a spell. So as we target it with uh, into the royal or something like that, it'll be able to fight. So we'll be able to fight Gen Razor. Uh, what we could do is we can go play Tamiyo, play uh, the frog one on their turn. Bring it to hand, have that option. Yeah, why not? A decline. Sorry, do not play X spells <laughs> like that. Um... Play out Llanowar Elves. You can also just let it die and have it come back. Uh, let's let's go ahead and do this though. Grab Incongruity. We'll cast it on their turn. Pass the turn. Uh, we need Tell's End in this deck as well, or unless that's that might be a abandoned brawl. I'm not sure. But Tell's End would be nice. Okay, there's another Hydra. X4. Uh, we're just going to clear the board. Okay, Exile Gargaros, that's fine. Kill the Nightpack Ambusher? Interesting. I mean, Voracious Hydra can kill this, so that's fine. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, this is definitely really annoying. So it'll die before it even gets exiled. Yeah, take action. Disallow would have been really nice. <laughs> take it. Dude, that was a ton of stuff on the stack. That was insane. All right. Might just put counters onto this now. We have into the royal, but that doesn't really help us a ton against this deck. Um, maybe it does. Right, so this is the biggest issue with Tamio. I don't really want to mill myself out too much. Uh, what do we find? Um. Nissa, I guess, is still our best, our best thing we can find. So sure. Uro also not bad. All right, let's play Rashmi into the royal. Can I hold up disallow as well? How much mana do I have? I can also just play a massive Hydra Crisis. How much mana do I have? Ten. So it's an eight eight. Not quite big enough. Um. Let's go Lanoir Visionary. Draw a card. We know that they have Wicked Wolf. All right, pass the turn. Four. So we can uh, we can enter the Royal. Which takes two blue mana and still disallow. 
Okay, Wicked Wolf. This is fine. Yeah, we don't care that much about Visionary, so cool. As long as they're not drawing cards from being able to, from stuff fighting with Nith, I, I, I'm totally fine with that. Okay, so... Uh, blue, blue. Okay, there we go. Uh, kicker. Bounce Racious Hydra, draw a card. Sub Disallow, which honestly we probably don't need as much now, but uh, do we go Brazen Bar or the Omen? Let's go Brazen Bar. We need a threat. They're at 15. We're, we're killing them faster than they kill us, so we're fine. Tamio, what do we want to do with Tamio? Probably just bring something back, honestly. Because we're at 26 cards left. All right, swing in with Brazen Borrower. We have a Disallow in hand. Let's go ahead and play out Rashmi. Um, dig for. I know. I noted this somewhere. I guess Nissa, again, torrential gear hole could be sweet, but it's fine. Fast turn. All right, yeah, we we can't we can't mill ourselves again. We draw too many cards and everything to to make that worthwhile. We're going to be cutting it pretty close on milling ourselves out anyway, as it is. So they know that we have a counter spell. They can see this. Uh, we chump with Grazer. Uh, these guys fight. It's not a dinosaur, so they just trade off, right? Oh, it's just cheaper if it's a dinosaur. Oh, man. That's also something that's worth countering, probably. Could also just go like Chemistry's Insight. Like, we can deal with creatures being on the board. It's, the, it's losing our value stuff that's annoying, right? So, Chemistry's Insight... Discard a Botanical Sanctum. Decline this time. <laughs> Make sure I do that right. And this is really good with Ration. We'll be able to set up the top of our deck. Teferi is actually pretty sweet too. Alright, so. Forest. What do we have in the graveyard to bring back? Uh, let's play out to fairy first. It takes impressive we can actually discard something here too. Uh, let's cycle sensor real quick. Try to figure out what we're digging for. All right, and let's bring back Uro and still hold up Disallow. Uro's a pretty big threat. Okay, things we definitely don't want to bring back right now. Wolf of Haven. Uh, bringing back Filled Mystic actually would be pretty nice. So let's just do that. Spine Epiphany. Um, I guess we can, yeah, okay, yeah, so, pay two life here, bring back Freeled Mystic. I follow the tracks of the wise. Uh, draw a card, discard. Like 
Gee, we're, we're cutting it close with this uh, <laughs> building ourselves out here. Um, pass the turn. Discard this. And I guess Risen Reef actually is not very good for us right now. We don't want to draw too many cards. Even Hydro Crisis, we can make massive and probably close the game out with it. But we draw like five cards with it. Primeval's Bounty. All right. Uh, yep, that's something that we counter. So we do that. Carnage Tyrant to hand. There we go. All right, sweet. Yeah, as soon as we had big enough threats to get past them, uh, and then Sublime Epiphany honestly stops it as well. Like Carnage Tyrant, Sublime Epiphany, game over, my friend. Game over, man. Game over. Keep this up against the Nahiri. Yeah, we should be in pretty good shape here. Um, I mean, we have a lot of expensive stuff, so not hitting land here would be terrible. Legion's Landing. Glimmer, Gross Spiral. We could find another one drop, so let's go ahead and do this main phase. Cure is nice. It is ramp. No attacks. So land and Cura would be the best draw. Uh, land, we can play out Rashmi, Cura... Get some extra card draw or something going. Get a little bit more ramp. No blocks. Down to 24. Try Rakdos Party. I, I did do that in the past. I have done that in a, a while ago. Ooh, nice. All right, yeah, so we get Rashmi. Dude, Rashmi is so good. This is going to be sweet. Um, we'll probably play out Teferi, just to try to hit something a little bit bigger. Valduk. Oh, that's gonna be not good. Uh, we actually, we can't play Teferi. Could go Glimmer of Genius, try to draw into our blue sources. Cure kind of gives us some. All right, yeah, we'll go Kiora. See if we hit anything. Um, we actually decline and bring this to hand. So now we can bounce the Valduck as they try to equip it. Um, yeah, pass the turn. Actually, do we just bounce the Valcut now? And swing it with Rashmi to get in some damage? Let's do that. Slowing him down is also pretty nice. Um, untap Rashmi to block. No, I think I'd rather just keep Kiora. Uh, whatever. Should challenge Amazonian right now. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> that, that would be kind of fun. Okay, you can put a Black Blade Reforged onto the token you, you create here. That's cool. That's a 5-5. Five, five. Swings in at Kyora. Um, playing Ugin seems pretty legit. Teferi is not bad either. Ugin can kill the core, which actually will just come back anyway. This doesn't have Trample, right? So we have Llanowar to block. So yeah, let's go Ugin. With Rashmi, we're getting extra stuff to play anyway. Yeah, so Visionary. Dude, Rashmi is so good. It's so good. Um, maybe we just bring out a blocker. Do we even care about this right now? Let's just bring out a blocker. Boom, bam, baby. Uh, pass the turn. And hope they don't give him trample somehow. Like an Emberclave would be awful here for sure. <laughs> that would be that would be miserable. <laughs> Selfless savior. Okay. All right, you have double strike. Good job. Good for you, sir. Champ for the flame is annoying. That is something we got to take care of. Helm, oh my gosh, <laughs> okay. 
They're doing some good stuff. All right, disallow will at least be nice. So we need to play um, something on our turn as well as their turn. Risen Reef. That's a good thing to play on our turn. Risen Reef. Um, oh, that's just going to hand, right? What am I? I wasn't sure what I was doing. Risen Reef. That would have been nice to have on top. Uh, take action. Enters tapped. Uh, we also have Glimmer of Genius if we need it. Let's see. So, trying to kill anything. self Seer takes it. Uh, takes seven to equip it onto Champion of Flame. Helm of the Host. Yeah, so I think what we do is we just create another token. Um, untap. Sanctum. The ocean surges, life thrives. And Pastor, and we're just trying to try to win through value. Uh, we can disallow the helm of the host. Everything is coming together. Digs for two. Kiri. Some extra card draw for them. Uh, Nissa will be really sweet here too. Uh, I think we can play Nissa and Torrential Gear Hulk. And then Disallow. Skymarcher Aspirant. Sure, that's a flyer. But we have Brazen Borrower, so that's okay. Uh, yeah, we're definitely countering that for sure. Absolutely. You're gonzoed. Tamio. Okay, Tamio to hand. And then Tamio can go back and grab a counter spell every time. Yeah, so that's. Yeah, yeah, yep, 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 yep. Dude, Rashmi is so good as a commander for Brawl. It is so fun. <laughs> it just like trashes everybody. I do want to build another one, but I also just like, I like this deck so much. And right now, I just need something that I like, honestly. 